In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can go ahead and get Apple Music for absolutely free on any of your Apple devices, whether that is your MacBook, your iPhone, your iPod, your iPad. It doesn't really matter. This is going to be showing you guys how you can 100% legitimately go ahead and get Apple Music for absolutely free on your Apple devices. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can go ahead and get Apple Music for absolutely free on any of your Apple devices, whether that is your MacBook, your iPhone, your iPod, your iPad. It doesn't really matter. This is going to be showing you guys how you can 100% legitimately go ahead and get Apple Music for absolutely free on your Apple devices. Now, I did do a video on this a while back, and this was pretty much clickbait as hell. It was just doing a tutorial showing you guys how you can go ahead and download free music off a website and implement this music into your iTunes account where you can drag it onto any Apple device that you currently own. But this is a legit version guys, this is going to be showing you guys how you can go ahead and get Apple Music directly from the Apple Music app on your Apple device. So basically guys, what this requires you to do if you already have Apple Music currently and you're paying for the subscription of Apple Music, what you'll need to do guys is go directly into your settings and go into iTunes and App Store and you want to sign out of your Apple ID and then you want to go ahead and just basically go and create a new Apple account. I will leave a link in the description down below to Apple's website where you can go ahead and simply go ahead and create a new Apple ID. But because I don't currently have Apple Music on my Apple device, I don't have to do this but if you do do this guys and you want to continue paying for the Apple Music then once you sign into that new iTunes account it will revoke access to that account that you currently own so you won't be able to log back into that account for up to 90 days so just be aware of that guys if you don't want that to happen and you want to just carry on paying for it then you just go ahead and carry on paying for it and just click off this video because obviously it's not right for you but if you want to go ahead and carry on doing that guys then just simply continue watching the video so if you haven't already got Apple Music, then you don't have to create a new iTunes account. But if you do have Apple Music, then you have to create a new iTunes account. But remember what I said earlier, it will revoke your access to your old iTunes account details. And you will not be able to go ahead and log back into that for another 90 days. So what I'm going to go ahead and do guys, is going to click on the Apple Music app. And I'm going to go over to um, try it now. And I'm going to... Click the individual one and start a free trial because you get three months for free. And I'm just going to go ahead and simply confirm that I want to go ahead and do this by putting in my password for my iTunes uh, details. And as you can see now guys, I do currently have Apple Music on my device for three months. So I'm going to chat now and you can basically see that... I currently have Apple Music so obviously once your three months has ended guys you can just simply cancel your subscription and just go ahead and create another iTunes account and just simply go and do this process over and over again meaning you, you, you will get literally unlimited free month of Apple Music for absolutely for every three months guys you should be able to go ahead and make an email up on Outlook or Gmail really easy guys it's not that much time and effort if you want to carry on doing this guys then you will go ahead and go through that trouble. But yes, don't forget guys that if you currently have Apple Music, go ahead and create a new iTunes account. But remember, it will revoke access to your old one. So if you don't want to go back onto your uh, old iTunes account for 90 days, then do it. If you do, then don't do it because obviously you will not be able to go ahead and cancel your Apple Music on your other account for 90 days. So if you want to do it, I suggest cancelling your Apple Music on your old account and then doing it. Otherwise, don't do it at all, guys. But yes, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, guys, please give it a big fat thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe and you want more tutorials and stuff like this on the channel, let me know in the comment section below, guys. But remember, also hit the notification button by pressing that bell icon next subscribe button to ensure that you never miss a video on the channel. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.